Hey everybody, Trolley Bully here, the troll you can trust, back with a Walking Dead Rule Spy video, featuring Riker. Just deal with it. So we have this deal with it meme looking Terminator. And now that I'm seeing a few red damage dealers coming out, I would expect some heavy tanky greens in the near future. Taking a look at our executions, what do you notice? Well, it's only red and blues with execution, so yellow and greens, you're up next if I had to guess. Riker is without a doubt the hardest hitting execution. While the other survivors hit two or three, Riker makes it almost certain that someone is going to flop as he only cares about 80% of your HP. Also, defense teams are only going to get thicker, so I would rather have this hard hitter compared to someone who would just hit two or three and not kill them, just to give the enemy AP to mollywop the living hell out of me come their next turn. Let's talk about Riker's Adrenaline Rush and Active. First off, his Adrenaline Rush, this makes Riker a damage-dealing support survivor to me. The reason for this is he has almost 2,000 base attack, which instantly puts him as a damage-dealing role. 750% damage that can crit along with that is heavy damage pressure. The support claim comes in after he unleashes his load on somebody. Riker will buff 120% attack to himself and one other teammate. Every turn, 60% of that buff goes away, making this attack buff last for two turns. This is very similar to Christmas Negan's Adrenaline Rush, if I had to guess. I would expect more Adrenaline Rushes such as this with upcoming survivors, but I can see it being something to do with probably crit or defense. If you were to command Riker to use his Adrenaline Rush, Riker would not benefit from the 120% damage or the 60% damage attack buff. If you wanted Riker to benefit from his 120% attack, then Riker uses his Adrenaline Rush turn 4, which is pretty far along the fight, and then commanded to attack someone with 120% attack, which I don't think is the best approach at all, as I don't see it really being efficient pressure to kill your enemy, as by then they probably already have defense buffs and bonus HP. The survivor, I feel, just has to have a command with him so that you can pop his Adrenaline Rush turn 3 and have another damage dealer benefit from the 120% attack. This does help those 350% and 450% Adrenaline Rushes on damage dealing characters, as now it does give them some serious kill potential. If decapitating one at a time is becoming extremely difficult, then if you can kill three at a time, it is not an issue. <laughs> Anyone else with an Adrenaline Rush that has a higher percent damage than 450%, then those damage survivors will just delete those survivors from reality with the 120% attack buff. Riker's active is stunning an enemy for one turn and giving them 50% heal reduction for two turns. This active just says to me, Hey, I cannot kill you, but your adrenaline rush is going to be a pain in the ass if it's unleashed, so I need to stun you. Oh, in case the stun fails or someone else releases an adrenaline rush full of aids, then I don't have to work as hard to get your HP back to where it was with a 50% heal reduction. So, I personally would have liked to see this active do 100% heal reduction instead. Revives are pretty strong and since Riker is in execution, I feel he should have been given a poor man's decapitate with 100% heal reduction. Why execute when you can decapitate? So Riker's itty bitty pistol. Yeah, itty bitty pistol. So this weapon is very straightforward in crafting. We are not touching that double attack special weapon mod. Don't you even think about it as that is 200% damage instead of the standard 150% we can get from crafting blue weapons. Reds can't even craft double attack weapons in the armory. Hanky greens are on the horizon, people. I'm calling it. So it won't be much longer. That leaves us with the first two weapon mods of this weapon to alter. Going 40% attack and huge AP when attacking, and we can call it a day for Riker. <laughs> Combat mods will be very offensive for Riker. We're going attack set since we have a double attack weapon set at 200% damage. Attack first green or yellow as Riker is a nice green killer, so yellows will be a byproduct of fighting greens as they both are melee. Confuse or stun resist are two good options for resist combat mods. Stun resist so that we cannot lose a turn to gain AP since we need 85 AP to use Riker's Adrenaline Rush. If we have a recover stun with Riker, we can use Confuse Resist as someone with a double attack weapon that is built to the teeth with damage should not be attacking his own teammates. 
the attack combat mods being AP Drain or Crit Damage. Since we have a double attacker, we can use AP Drain as we can get a double proc, which will pretty much drain whoever we are attacking. If we want to take a more offensive approach, we can go Crit Damage Auxiliary Mod with a Crit Wildcard Combat Mod. These two combinations will make sure we crit more often and crit harder, making double attacks hit extremely hard, especially if they crit. Moving to the team comps. I want to do three attack team comps here, everybody, and no defense teams. I know, it's killing me too. This first team is Brute Forcey. We can get 38 or 40 AP per turn with Andrea Leadership and AP when attacking Weapon Mod. This will allow Sandy to be commanded turn two or decapitates. Turn three, you have options with Andrea, Riker, or Michonne's Adrenaline and Rush with a command. Depending on the situation, if you need to command Michonne for a kill and a disarm lead for your next target for Andrea and Riker to slap up. Sadiq Active Confuse to stop a human shield or Adrenaline Rush that would otherwise destroy your team or build theirs back up. This next team will be for Deleting Melee. Madison for her leadership skill, Stun Active, and Bleed Adrenaline Rush as this gives us damage first tanks with Bleed and Stun Active for weapon mods and damage control. Bruce will lead us with this arm for any AP downs or absolute defense weapon mods. Bruce can be commanded turn 2 for a kill on a yellow. Turn 3, we will have Shiva Adrenaline Rush ready to confuse 2 if needed. And if they have a confused resist, we can always use her active for stun. Before we use the Shiva Adrenaline Rush, we can attack with Riker for any execution and then command him to drop an enemy and then hopefully that 120% attack buff will go to Shiva so that her AR will one-shot somebody and then that Confuse will be applied to two other survivors. The third and final team is less on AP generation and has more stats behind it. Spencer for his leader and stun active or weapon mods and damage control. His Adrenaline Rush will lower defense who make killing someone easier. Lewis for turn two command to make sure we can get a disarm on our current target or the next one we are going to take out. Turn three, we can command Lori to impair and buff our team, or we can command Spencer for his stun and defense down adrenaline rush. The choice is yours, but make sure you look at the enemy combat mines. At this point, Riker is buffed before using his adrenaline rush as Lori would either have used it last turn or at the beginning of this turn. So he will destroy one or two survivors and then buffing someone else who will then follow up with a lot of damage to help get the win. In the case we go up against a human shield, we have Lori for her focus so that we can bypass the human shield and go straight for whoever is the main focus on the enemy team. And that's going to wrap up the video for Riker. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if you made you laugh for you, then you please give a nice karate chop that like, subscribe, button. make sure you comment down below. Sports greatly appreciate it. And on that, I'll catch you all in the next video.